Hey guys, Bob Britt, Bobcat Outdoors here. Hey guys, today I have a super simple hack for you using off the shelf parts and pieces that you can get just about anywhere that might save that $400 GoPro from going in a drink while you're fishing. Guys, stick around and let's see how we make this thing. All right, guys, the first piece we got is a, uh, this is actually a boot lace, but you can use 550 paracord. Um, the reason I'm using this boot lace is because, well, that's what I had laying around, and I'm out of 550 paracord. I made one earlier today on a live feed using a piece of paracord. The second thing we're going to need is a wire connector. This is a 12 to 10 AWG sized wire connector with heat shrink tubing built into it. You can buy these at most auto parts stores. I recommend the, the kind with the heat shrink tubing because the glue inside of here will actually melt into your, your paracord or your 550 cord and make an even stronger bond. You'll need a lighter or some way, a torch or some way to melt, to shrink, melt the shrink wrap on here. It'll also help you prepare the end of your 550 cord to go up inside of your ring terminal. Uh, you'll need a pair of wire crimpers to uh, crimp your connector. And I am using today, I'm using just a simple uh, non-locking carabiner. Uh, this one's rated to 150 pounds. You do not have to use a carabiner. You can simply tie a, uh, a hitch or something in your rope, or you can just tie this straight to whatever you want to to tie it to. You, if you're using a milk crate or to your boat, you can tie you a little loop like that and then pass the the end of your line through the loop for a secure connection to, to whatever you're tying it to. It's completely up to you, but I'm just going to use a, a, a clip, and I'll show you why here shortly. Now, I'm going to take the end of my paracord or your boot lace, whatever, and I'm going to expose it to some heat to stiffen it up to and also make it smaller. So I'm not putting a lot of heat on here. I'm just stiffening the end of, of it up. And you'll see why in a minute because we want to we want to push this we want to push this up into the to the connector to make a secure bond. So we're going to take and twist that up into the connector as far as it's going to go, and then once I get it up in there as far as it'll go, I'm going to open up my wire pliers, my uh, crimpers, and make our connection. I'm going to put the put it in the in the crimpers and I'm gonna crimp it down. Give it a good strong squeeze and now we've made our connection. That's good and secure in itself, but we're gonna make it even more secure by heating our shrink wrap around it. And we're just gonna heat it and twist it and heat it and twist it. You don't wanna get it so hot that you're melting your paracord. You just wanna get it to heat shrink on there real good. And you'll know when it's good because you'll start getting some glue oozing out the back side of that, uh, that connector. You see the glue coming out of the back side of our connector? We'll let that cool down while we do that. While that cools, I'm just going to take and uh, I'm just going to tie a simple, uh, a simple knot. There's no fancy way to you can tie about any kind of knots you want here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and tie it. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tie it to it with it using a uni knot. We're going to make our uni knot, and there's lots of videos online on how to tie a uni knot. We'll tie ourselves a uni knot. Go about four wraps if we can get it. It's four wraps. and we'll dress it down and then pull it down. And got a, a uni knot to... Uh, to our carabiner. Okay guys, now we're gonna make a connection from our lanyard to our GoPro. First thing you're gonna do is pull your GoPro screw out to where the, the base, uh, and this is a GoPro Hero 7. Um, I'm sure it'll work on newer models. You just have to experiment with, uh, with these newer model cameras. I think it'll work on three through the seven, but I'm gonna, there's not a lot of room in here, so I'm gonna take that and kind of twist it in there and flatten it out, and then we're going to put our thumb screw back in. And there we go, guys. We've got our we've got our solid connection made to our lanyard. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take you out here 
to the boat and show you how I would deploy uh, this quick little lanyard, GoPro lanyard, we'll call it. All right, guys, if you're up here on the bow of your boat, throwing a cast net or even casting out your fishing lines, there's a good chance when you got something sticking up in the air like this, this is where our GoPro is gonna mount at, guys. There's a good chance for you to, to actually snag that GoPro and send it flying in the water. And if that GoPro is not attached to something, there's a good chance your GoPro is going to the bottom of the lake or river you happen to be fishing. So this little hack right here, guys, is gonna demonstrate how this lanyard can save your GoPro. And we're gonna attach our guinea pig GoPro to our mount, to our vertical mount, simply like that. And now we have our lanyard coming out of the back from the connection right here. And this is our lanyard. I'm simply gonna take the lanyard and I'm going to attach it. I'm gonna attach the end of our lanyard, our clip, to something in the boat. In this case, I use a milk crate to, uh, to hold my anchor rope and my light, and, and it also supports my GoPro mount. I use my GoPro mount for filming in the boat. So I'm just gonna take this little uh, little lanyard right here, guys, and clip it onto my milk crate. So now I've got a solid connection from, from this milk crate, which is actually bolted to the floor of the boat, to my GoPro. So in the event that something snags this GoPro, there's a much better chance, guys, that I'm gonna be able to recover my GoPro, even if it goes in the water or if it hits the deck. Uh, these, these GoPros are waterproof and as long as you have them sealed up, chances are you will not completely lose your GoPro. So guys, that's just a little hack I wanted to share with y'all. And uh, I was showing somebody how to build one this morning and I thought, well, I need to do a video on that. So guys, as you can see, my GoPro is mounted to the PVC pipe. My lanyard comes off of the thumb screw and it goes down and clips to the milk crate or i mean you could there's just a variety of different ways you could uh you could clip this thing you can move it around the boat and clip it to to different surfaces and guys at the end of the day when you've uh when you finish filming and finish fishing you can take your lanyard and uh, i pulled the gopro off the mount and left the the clip in place you can take your thumb screw and you know put it back on your uh mount and just tighten it up and next time you get ready to go fishing and filming uh you, you've got your lanyard all ready to go idea, guys guys thanks for joining me today and i hope this tip helps you out thank you and god bless